Hi everyone, Josh Maddie here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Wow, look at my hair. Anyways, so we're getting up, we're doing all kinds of stuff this morning. Say hi Aaron. It's Halloween stronger. Halloween, yay, it's almost Halloween, bitches. So we just left Twisters, which is like El Pollo Loco in that show Breaking Bad. I got a South Valley. What did you get? I got a better train. I just thought of a funny meme I saw on the internet. Cause you know all the Toys R Us are closing and they're, they're all turning into Spirit Halloween so they're like all the toys are dead and came back to life and Nuka resold his Halloween toys. <laughs> so this just happened. Aaron dropped some food and it like went all over his shirt like it traveled. So we're gonna like pull over and try to wash off his shirt real quick. We stopped at this lovely retirement community so I could wash out Aaron's shirt, but it's all wet right now. And I asked Aaron, what do you have to wear? What do you have to wear, Aaron? He has a see-through shirt and a vampire shirt, which he can't wear to public apparently, so. I guess I could wear the see-through one. I mean, at this point, what's the alternative? Be going in butt naked, I guess. You're not butt naked. You're a boy. Boys can go around shirtless. They can't. What is this, the 17th century? I guess we're going to H&M to buy Aaron a new shirt real quick. I was just looking for pants, but... Where's the bag? Because this is full of grease, too. Thanks, Josh, for going inside that retirement community and everyone saying hello, and you bypassing them to go to the sink in the bathroom so that you could wash out my shirt. Thank you, Josh, for going into I was gonna say something, but I won't. Can I have another paper towel? What were you gonna say, Aaron? Something about the cocoon. The last time I drove around naked is when I fell into the water in Hamas Springs, I almost drowned, and I didn't have any clothes, so I had to come home in a towel. I like well, I that tube top, where'd you get it? Literally. Literally. literally wearing just a towel. I didn't have any underwear or anything. So we came on a photo shoot. That was my plan of the day because Aaron kept bitching that I didn't take him for his last one. So then what does he bring? All these phantasm outfits that don't look cute in a regular world or something. Who knows? Well, I can't go into the mall wearing a see-through shirt. Why? Just put a poncho over it and it's fashion. Because this is not Alabama. You can't just go around naked Alabama. to a mall. Alabama. Might as well be where the dry Alabama. We ain't got no swamps, but we got a lot of hicks. Mm. Yes, oh my god. So I'm like trying to hang Aaron's shirt out the window to dry, and this guy comes <laughs> up on us and he's like <laughs> filming us on his phone. He's like, I think he thought Aaron was a girl. <laughs> I can be whatever he wants me to be. Mm. What's your name, baby? What do you want it to be? My name is Halleberry. Halle Berry, Halle Berry. Some oh my god, that was so creepy. It looked like a Halle Berry. I Say it again. Some, look, I do have some cleavage. And some man came up to me at a bar one time and said I look like Halle Berry. No, she, he said I was. A, I made a fine Halle Berry. And I was like, okay, thank you. Thank you. A Mercedes van. Yes. I'm good. Oh. Honey, I'm good. Have you guys seen that video or that movie, Priscilla, Queen of the Desert? And they have all these things floating out of their bus. I feel like that. What a funny... Ugh. So this is happening right now. I think it's ingenious, but I turn on the heater and we're drawing the shirt that way. I'm legit gonna go into a mall like this. Very much the road. I just need like a necklace or something. Just some costume jewelry. Guys, he told me thank you. I always told Josh thank you. Because I am resourceful AF, mother effer. So note to selves, don't eat burritos in your car while you're driving. What the fuck? What the hell? Look! <laughs> you put it on the seatbelt! Okay, so anyway, we're going to H&M real quick so Eric could get some clothes. And look, Cheesecake Factory used to be a big deal. And then everyone found out it was like really overpriced for a lot of girls. 
It's not that fast, it's that there's too many things on menu, so it's just a bunch of things there. Okay, so we're in here. This is happening right now. I'm looking for a very specific pant called Tech Something. Good thing I'm being so specific. My legs almost keep getting anything out. Why? Because I worked them out three times yesterday. Mm -hmm. They're like rubber right now. Oh my god. Who wears that? Little babies, I guess. I like H&M because you can get all your very basics here. But at the same time, everyone else knows that, so then they can get all their basics here. And then you'll be basic buddies. It's just like between seasons, so everything's all goofy and weird. I lost my husband. He's somewhere. Not finding a shirt. Okay, so my thing today is to tell as many people as possible about what happened to us this morning. I told the cashier and she's like... <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know it's fun it's a different crew in the mall when it's this early I guess <clears throat> not a bunch of children running around bothering people <gasps> oh Brookstone clothes do you want to go to Aldo where do you want to go oh where do you want to go let's go this way we have to get our eyebrows did don't we oh yeah 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 so we're at the shoe store because Aaron's obsessed with shoes now his newest thing I'm obsessed with shoes because of you. I said it's your new thing. These are cool. You told me those weren't the other day. So they look like... <laughs> Who's the ghetto? The ghetto, honey. The ghetto. Oh, the ghetto. The ghetto. Of her look. Oh, you do have those too. These are like the best running shoes ever, by the way. No, Why? I'm not getting paid. Because they're so soft and supportive, it feels like your feet just like on clouds. Shoes. Yeah, Eric, but guys, they have shoes in there too. Wait, that you know what's my shoes back there? Don't cry. I try not to. Gonna be able to do it? I don't know. So what happened, Aaron? My eyes got ripped out. They did them. I'm like super red. Oh. But I think we earned a tree at Lolly and Pops. Oh that God. was a mess. That was a mess. She was like pulling all of them out. I know. My eyes are like still throbbing. What am I? She was going I just felt my my soul coming out of my body. I thought that dog was a little kid. Anyway, let's let's go to Lollipops. Yeah, Lollipops. I don't know, a Lollipop? Oh my god. That's crazy. Wow, my eyes look so much more expressive. Wow, we just look like Disney villain. Here, we still. Yee. This is like one of my favorite places, but they don't have one on the west side, so we have to always come here. It's called Lolly and Pops. We got in trouble. Yeah, so we got in trouble at Lolly and Pops. They didn't want me filming, but it wasn't a total loss because she said that she would set up like a private tour and stuff so that was pretty cool she's yeah. like i just want to make sure everything's cool and we'll make it all shiny and pretty and i was like it's already shiny and pretty that's why i'm trying to vlog it's always so fun here but i thought that was really cool so i sent her an email and we're gonna kind of link up maybe but i thought that was cool she didn't just say no she said no but let me make sure everything looks amazing so i guess it's the mall's policy that we're not allowed to vlog but this is like one thing that you can do without like being bad, I don't know. So we'll see what happens. So we left the mall. We randomly stopped at the side of the road. I don't know what's happening.
That scared me because the trunk on this car is not supposed to close if the keys in there, in there and it closed. So I thought I left my wallet in the mall somewhere. So, at least you did it. Aaron wants a new watch, but I need a new watch. Let's I see who gets mine. Skedaddle, bitch, you know the rest. There's one right here. Sasha and Dolores is probably the most inseparable drag queen ever created. Even worse than Willem? Like, at least and Willem Violet, like, is no. funny sometimes, but Sasha is just like... One of, is Sasha is one of those people that like, you're making a joke on a forum somewhere and they come in and say, actually, the sky is cerulean. It's not blue. It's not lapis. It's cerulean. It's cerulean. Is there a per type of person that you tell in the comments? You must be fun at parties. Actually. So we made it home. I'm gonna take a nap because I'm old and tired. Watch the break from the story. I'm gonna take a nap. And then friends are gonna come over. <laughs> anyway, so we got home. Nothing's really happening right now, so I'm gonna take a nap before I start cleaning, watch American Horror Story. Um, oh no, what happened? I don't know how to use the TV in our bedroom. I got a pickle, pickle wreck! <laughs> Anyways, so we'll see what happens later. If anything happens, I'll vlog it. If not, thanks so much for watching. I love you guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And that's it for now. Bye, guys.